do it is how Jackie's doing it, fostering, helping put the right mindset and skills and tools to let folks be successful. And this is the sort of stuff I, I will always take out my time and drive as far to help show and discuss. So again, Jackie, thank I you. I really, really appreciate <laughs> it, Ben. You're increasing your team. Thank you very much. All right, my brother. There we got a lot of other stuff we're gonna show about Mirabelle. Let's go. After hanging out with Jackie, we were able to hop in his car. We went dual north to Pedigree Hydroelectric Dam. The dam was built in 1953. It's been around since then, providing a very large amount of electricity to all of Haiti. Let's go ahead and check it out. So we're out here in Pelig Dam. It's a place I've always wanted to come and check out because it's so important. This is one of the primary electricity producing facilities we have in the country. It produces up to 50 megawatts of power. And on this side, we have the lake, which is an absolute beauty to behold. And on this side, we have the actual waterfall and then you have a facility that's capturing electricity on the other side. Man, it's cool to see this. And it's underutilized. There's a lot more investment to make it used to its maximum potential. But still, it's great to be here to see it and see the sort of infrastructure. We got back in the car and headed towards Mirabelle to see what else we could find in this magnificent city. And we ran into a treasure. Jackie it was good friends with the owner of Renaissance Village and we went ahead and had a chance to enter this incredible compound, this incredible development unit recently built, can't believe, I don't think it's even older than two to three years old. It sits in a mango grove comp uh, facility, I mean it's surrounded by dozens and dozens of mangoes as you go into a very large tree covered driveway and, and and you get a chance to see something that and it's something you can run out even right now so when you're visiting Mirabelle you can stay be comfortable check out their pool they got daily rates weekly rates monthly rates next time I visit I'm staying here but I'm not gonna talk too much over this. I'm just gonna let you guys see for yourself just how awesome this was to check out. So we're in front of Mirabelle Hospital, one of the largest hospitals, not only in Haiti, but in the Caribbean. Actually, this is one of the facilities, that's many people know this. There's folks who actually fly in from other parts of the Caribbean to come to this hospital, right? It really is on par with international standards. I know of a lot, uh, or many instances where, you know, American or someone visiting, something happens to them. And before trying to fly out, they try to come here to be seen. Now. The difficulty, of course, is that too often there's not enough beds. The demand versus the amount of capacity that's here, usually there's, a, there's certainly an imbalance. But it is reassuring to know, despite what you may hear about Haiti and the lack of hospitals, yes, it's true there needs to be more, but there is an international level hospital that exists here. Our last stop was Jackie taking us to Le Jardin, a guest house located in Mirabelle, ran by fantastic 
set of staff and people with a pool in the back, a restaurant up front, and cool vibes throughout. The bed, the furnishings, and everything around was up to exactly how I personally like it. Comfortable, airy, clean, and most importantly, well-priced. If you're staying multiple nights at Mirabelle, you have to at least spend one or two or three or more of those nights right here. So that's a wrap. You just spent the entire day in Miami Ballet showing you guys different things that exist out here. Again, we just wrapped up Liga Jardin. A fantastic hotel experience. Definitely worth coming out if you're out here and need a place to sleep, place to eat, place to swim. Until we're back at it again, guys, we'll be back at it again.